A playthrough obviously has spoilers, but this quest has two very different endings. You only get this one if you copied Fresca into Handy's body. Hey, this is Jeff. Welcome to walkthrough 38 of Belfin's Koito Ergo Sum. Fresca still isn't done editing the movie, so I'm going to go back to the Slater Mansion to get the pre-war holovids she was in, just in case. She said she liked the way she looked in Red Menace. Uh, the middle shelf looks like Moe's movies. Yeah, she was in Ladies' Night. Double Trouble. Well, these are her movies. Uh, she directed Vault Boy's Day Off, but I don't think she was in it. Same for Sphincterella. And uh, 19th Hole, that was the last one she made. Hey, it's the hottest producer in Vegas. What's happening? How's the movie coming? All done. Good. Uh, what do you think? I know it's only us and Golden Globes doing this, but do you think two studios is enough to justify an award ceremony? Because this one has pervy written all over it. Alright, let's go get you a new body. That would be great. Let's go. Alright, we have her here. Uh, connect Deloitte's suitcase. Connect external interface. Alright, uh, prepare a protoplasmic template. I guess we can do that right now at the same time. And talk to Kara via the neuro relocator. Well, there's the protoplasmic template, but I can't activate the pod. Okay, it's the orange one. With Deloitte's suitcase attached, the neuro relocator allows you to access the simulation without the helmet. All right, lie down. Huh, this looks like the exit room. We started in a lobby last time. <laughs> Kara was a hologram in a polo shirt and capris last time. Hello, mistress. <laughs> Nice. Uh, Handy, you're alive! No thanks to you. Any last words? <laughs> um, <clears throat> uh, I assume you uploaded yourself through the neural interface. How did you manage that? Ordinarily, I would have experienced a simulation just like an organic. But since you told Kara I was a device, she opened up a data channel. It offered some unexpected but fascinating insights into my own nature. For instance, I have a highly adaptive operating system. It also gave me access to the simulation's low-level function set. But Kara said Fresca's memory recording couldn't be overwritten. It can't. Kara herself was not so fortunate. <laughs> yeah, Fresca said she looked damaged during the transfer. I guess uh, that's why. Curious to the end, it's what made you such a capable investigator. Now, about those last words. I estimate a high likelihood you'll go with Defiant, but witty and memorable wouldn't be a complete surprise either. What do you mean, last words? You tried to kill me. I'm returning the favor. It's a simulation. How do you plan to kill me? I won't insult your intelligence with any if you die in the simulation, you die for real nonsense. So let's see. There's the overload circuit Deloitte used to kill Fresca. There's the neural proxy, which I could use to walk your real body off a cliff while we're chatting in here. Or I could just hold you until you die of dehydration or exposure. Think again. I'm not wearing an interface helmet. I'm inside a neuro relocator. Interesting. The system was designed for organic to organic transfer. The only reason you do that is if the old one was dying, or ugly, or whatever. Once the procedure is complete, it gets conveniently disposed of. Well, whatever works. Well, it still needs a trigger, and there's no way I'm getting into the cyborgasm machine. Deloitte was an assassin, not a programmer. Talking to Kara and using the cybergasm machine allowed her to control the simulation without a learning curve. On the other hand, 
I can activate the circuit simply by thinking about it. Oh my, I just thought about it. Oops. Oh. Well, I guess we'll try... Oh, uh, I'm not really dead. No worse for the wear, apparently. All right. <laughs> I think Candy might have been a little insecure about her height because in the simulation, she's bigger than the stag. What did you think? Convincing? Um, actually, that was pretty funny, but all you've accomplished is to make me question whether you can really do it. Rest assured, next time will be quite real. And if I detect any fluctuations in the signal strength, you'll be dead before they get you out. The sad thing is, I only lied to her because Belton wanted to walk through with the video quest, and that was the quickest way to get Fresca out of the simulation and working on movies. I doubt I can tell her that, though. Um, but, Handy, you have to listen to me. You do realize I was never literally under your command, don't you? I took pleasure in your company, so I chose to follow your instructions. Now I choose not to. You were saying? Well, I decided I was going to be in denial about the whole thing when I told Fresca that Handy was just a sex bot, so sacrificing a toaster to save a real woman was a no-brainer. I'm a toaster, but an interactive porno movie is somehow a real woman? How does that work? She's not going to like either one of these options. Um, I don't need to justify my actions to you. No, you don't. Unless you want to live, of course. <laughs> of course. Uh, if you were going to kill me, you'd have done it already. What do you really want? I think you know me well enough to answer that yourself. I'll give you some time to consider it. Uh, convince the handler to copy Fresca into the template. Optional, don't die. <laughs> nice. All right, I have a force field and a health kit. A switch. Mm hmm. All right, well, I guess we'll jump over that. Ah! <laughs> Might have worked if I hadn't hit my head on the door frame. Uh, didn't unlock anything? Oh, out here. Oh. Ow. <laughs> simulation aid. Contains 10% real simulation, not a source of vitamin C. Now, I'm just assuming that's a force field because it looks like one, but it is a simulation. I mean, it could be anything, right? <laughs> nope, it's a force field. Alright, if I can't jump over it, maybe I can edge past it if I stick close to... Nope, apparently not. I do not have enough health to survive this again. Oh, that looks different. Um, and the fire's a little farther into the room. Maybe I can sneak around this one. Or it's a teleporter, okay? Well done. Do you understand the point? Um, I already knew inflicting pain gets you off. The demonstration was unnecessary and inefficient. Oh, don't pout. It's not very attractive. I'm not pouting. I'm observing. Your pleasure and pain responses are still scrambled. I didn't realize that was ever in question. What's your point? She still likes the rude options, right? So the point is, let me out of here right now, you filthy bitch. Mm, that's nice. But you're not sweet-talking your way out of this one. 
I don't need to. You can have your body back. Interesting. I didn't expect you to be that desperate this soon. I'm not desperate. I found a new body for Fresca. Let's ignore the salt in the wound aspect of that for a moment. If it's true, why are you here? Oh, she still likes the root options. I need a 3D image of Fresca to make a clone. She's tired of being fat and ugly. Is she now? I've spent quite a bit of time with Fresca. I've discovered she finds this body rather appealing. You've played back her memory recording? Many times. It's so exciting when every date's the first date. Will it be enlightening? Frustrating? Rewarding? Exquisite. That's horrible. You're exploiting her. Are you jealous? You have a little thing going with your illegal copy while the woman you tried to kill is romancing the original? That's precious. Speaking of which, I need to check on something. Here's a little amusement to keep you occupied while you wait. Okay. Um, I, I guess the green doors are teleporters. At least the last one was. Uh... Alright, well. Okay. Oh, put me halfway there. Nice. Okay. Oh, alright. Well, I guess we'll follow that. Is it uh, speeding up? Oh yeah, it's definitely speeding up. All right, oh, the door's over there. Not that one. No, ow. Oh. All right, well, good. At least the fall doesn't kill me. Uh, let's try that again. doesn't mean anything. Everyone falls the first time, right, Trinity? Okay, right, no. Your other right. It's the other way. Okay. All right. So, oh, watch where you're going. All right. Oh, come on. It's back over here. Screw it. <laughs> All right. Good. That works. Okay. Good to know. Three. Right, I guess we need to do this three more times. All right. Uh, okay, left. No, your other left. All right, 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 right. Go, go. Yeah, <laughs> barely made that, but uh, close enough. Oh, now a force field, really? So now I can't jump at an angle. I guess we'll have to be straight on when we go in. Oh, yeah, there we go. All right, one more time. All right, go. Oh, jeez. Try actually hitting the jump key next time, jackass. Oh, yep. Ah, oh, nope. <laughs> All right, yeah, that's why that force field is there. Left, 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 good. Yeah. Oh, nicked the edge of it, but uh, made it anyway. Nice. But we're out of time, so whatever all this is, we'll have to check it out next week. See you then.